Do you ever worry that people know too much about their genes now and it freaks them out? So if you can go buy a test for $250 and you find out you have a gene that might give you a higher chance of breast cancer mm -hmm. and now you're in panic mode, yeah. is that a good thing overall for society or a bad thing? Right, right. So that is why it is so important to work with someone like me who's a genetic counselor because a big part of my job is making sure that all of my patients understand exactly what they're doing and why they're doing it, that they're making an informed decision and that there's somebody there to walk them through the results, that we don't just like let them go into the wild. Um, so because, when, because you can test positive for a gene, but it doesn't necessarily it doesn't mean you're gonna they're going to get cancer. Exactly, and I think yeah. people don't make that connection in their head as much as you would like. It just means that someone's at an increased risk and that there are steps that we can take to help them decrease their risk. And, what is know, it like, in breast, actually? Um, typically, it's about 12%. Okay. So that's okay. like average. So one in eight women will develop it, regardless right. of history. And so everybody starts out with that baseline risk. And then if it, if it goes above 20%, that's when we offer extra screening. I see. And then when it gets high enough, like somebody has a, a high-risk mutation, that's when we may talk about preventative surgery.